just let me have the just let me have the win, right? Why would you not let me do that? Clutch Mercury there. Much needed. Yeah, so for these guys, like the game's removing all of these tricks that you could have to make your life easier. Like as far as I can tell, there's no way to, to get an easy kill on that guy. Okay. So what we can do very soon is continue along this path. 2000. So I am going to do a mini farming here. I did die a lot I, and I spent a lot of time. It probably took me about half an hour here to, to beat that guy. All these repeat attempts trying to set up people that could, uh, that could hurt him and all that kind of stuff. I just couldn't do it. I didn't die a huge amount of times, but uh, each attempt took a long time. And it cost me resources I'd rather have not used. At least we're up to five skill points now. I think I needed six for one of the major abilities. So we're almost up to 5k. He's taking his place back. Oh, there was one here. It's still there. It's just behind all this crap. Wow, I did not realize that. God for that. Okay, so we're going to make some quick kills here, and then I'm going to buy this mask piece that I've been after. Again, how is he so fast? <laughs> he was one. <laughs> he was like, he was a sniff away. If they just sniffed in his general direction, he would have died. This bitch. They're horrible. The enemies here in general are just horrible. Alright, finally. Got all the stuff. It's taken me longer than I would have liked, but I finally got everything I needed. So hopefully that frustration is going to be over now. And I have nothing to lose. Let's go. Surprised I still don't have any more uh, raw essence stuff, honestly. Goku. There we go. Um, still have a bunch of other stuff to be fair, but I'll just buy that. Shisha. Here we go. A dragon head dancing mask made whole by piecing the fragments back together. Grants the ability to exchange skill points for attack power in the sculptor's idol menu. Holy shit. The Okami warrior women would wear this to the Fountainhead Palace, and there they would dance as an offering for the dragon. Mysteriously, the ritual left them brimming with vigor. Wah. Wah. I don't know how much I need, so not right now. Um... Does this mean I just get even more when I do this? I think I'm going to learn Shadow Rush first. But these are Ashina Arts. Maybe I should do this one. Yeah. Let's see if that's the one that we needed. Oh. 
これは。アシナの秘伝です。一心様は赤色がこれを極める様を見たい。そして叶うならば立ち会いたいものだ。そう仰せでした。Allows one to follow a follow up attack with certain tools and use a sword with tools effects. So I needed that one. Sheesh. This is <laughs> basically like the uh, the Melania move, the waterfowl dance. Okay, so next I'll probably work on some of this stuff. I mean, there's a lot to do, obviously. But that was good. Let's head straight back. The, the land of the assassins. Deadly. For now, though, I'd rather stuff that doesn't require any of that. Okay. 
者があるところカラスの声へ行こう。So this time around, oh, it's this guy himself. Okay. Come, buddy, let's go. Again, he's not following me. <laughs> he's stuck up here, so this is great. Come on. This puppet move is so good, but it's just using it properly is just impossible. I'm gonna try and lure them towards him. Like, you just can't have the fun with it that you're supposed to have. Like this is supposed to be a super fun move to be able to do. <sighs> and now I've drawn them all here, of course, so it made everything worse. We're almost there. Again, I had no idea that any of them were onto me. Shit. Tend to do. How did I? How did that not kill anyone there? And obviously, again, because this is like the asshole stage of the game, they will not leave you. They know that you're going to come back. They're just not dying. Okay. Like, after all those mortal strikes, you would think that a guy would probably die. But, uh, anyway. Here we go. This time it just acts as a teleport, or no? Okay. Flames of hatred. Okay. It's gone out of control. Yeah, I just want to see if he's even going to take any damage from anyone. Or can we get any cheap hits? Yeah, 
that damage looks pretty bad. That damage looks pretty bad. Again, gotta wonder, like, is there some kind of trick here, gimmick, something to do, or... So I'm gonna have a little roam around first. I might get hit a few times in the process, but... Like, anywhere to climb, anything to do? I don't think so. It's close. So just making sure here. So this was the, the big difficulty spike that I was kind of expecting. It had been a long time coming, honestly. It's finally here. Let's try and get in closer. Gonna try to get in close. They kept me at bay with those swinging moves. So I'm going to have a few attempts here, and then I'm going to wrap up for this session. It's been, I think, another four, four and a half hours now. So I think this is a good time um, to rest. Yeah, I don't know how many you need. It's a bit vague. Okay. Uh, I do feel like we kind of need the umbrella with the uh, burn resistance. And we need this guy. Range is obviously stupidly big. Nothing we can do about that. Ah, something pops up there. So it might be one of those where you kind of have to hang long enough in the fight to bait out certain moves. But it's just so, like, so much range. But at the start of the next session, the first thing I'm going to look into is the umbrella thing. Sometimes I feel like I'm already underneath him, but he's already made his move. So I think I'm going to end here. This is clearly something formidable, or there's a... I don't think there's a trick. It's not like the dragon one where it becomes relatively pedestrian once you find the trick. This is a whole different ball game. So I will come back to this. I think I'll make some preparations first. I'm not going to ram my head against this guy. 
Um, if anything, I'll probably start the next session here. So I might need a little bit of money, or I think it's just money that I need to upgrade to the fireproof umbrella. I think that's going to help me a lot in this fight. And then we'll see what else we can do. So just a quick check here. This is what I needed. Yeah, it's literally just money. So, okay, fair enough. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And in the last session, shit finally got really serious once again. So basically, the, the story of the game so far was that for the first three to four hours, I was like, wait a minute, this game's not that hard. It's quite a slow start. You can stealth around a lot, like you can avoid the mini bosses. Uh, yeah, like we had the first kind of um, extraordinary foe. I died maybe like 10 times to whatever, but it wasn't like the, the kind of the brutality that I expected. And then a difficulty spike came and I spent maybe at least a session, another three to four hours where I had to sort of get over the hill. There was three or four mini bosses at the same time that I just could not defeat. And I was, I was definitely struggling and needed to kind of get better at the game and uh, find a way through those bosses. And then I did that. And then we had the Ginichiro uh, boss battle, which was amazing and like still the most thrilling and best boss battle experience I've had so far in the game. Did that. And then after that, it felt like I kind of, I reached a sufficient level to be able to kind of get through the game. And I wasn't really dying that much to anything. And um, like the, the random enemies, most of them I could defeat pretty easily. But then, in the last session, once we defeated the Divine Dragon, then things spiked once more. So now I, it seems to me like this is kind of the end game spike, where even random encounters, if you're not careful, they can kill you. And any major boss battles we have to face now, it's like seriously difficult. Like for someone like me, I'm not going to be able to beat them in just like two or three attempts or something like that. Uh, we saw the demon, so the sculptor is gone at the moment. And he's kind of fully transformed into this like demonic uh, entity. And we had like a couple of attempts and it was very clear that this is a whole different level of, uh, of boss battle. And so what I'm going to do, um, that battle, I believe, is an optional one because it's not basically we headed off in the other direction. So we had two things to do. One was basically to try and help Ashina um, by kind of going over there and helping to kind of take out all of the, the invading forces. And then the demon guy happens to be there and he's out of control. And maybe by destroying the demon form, we can somehow get the sculptor back. So that's one side of things. And the other side of things is to try and get to Kuro himself and to obviously go to the secret passage and see what we can do with that. So uh, one thing actually that I need to mention is that yes, we still have some outstanding things to do. And it is my goal to try and do as much of the, the stuff as I can. Now, this was really confusing me because in the last sesh, I also found the Mist Raven. And I was sure that the Mist Raven was the final missing piece to be able to get this one. And then this unlocks like the rest of the chain. So everything pretty much is unlocked except for this guy. And I was confused because I just didn't know that there was any other prosthetics. Obviously, it being a blind run. I thought I need to find one more, and once I find this one, that chains together all of the rest and I can get these and stuff. It turns out that that's not the case. Uh, this one I did ask about. I was like, so can you just confirm for me that there is another prosthetic tool? And there is another prosthetic tool. Now, I don't know where to find it. I didn't look up where the location was, but honestly, I'm a little bit surprised that I haven't come across it because I have made an effort to try and get through um, and find as much stuff as I could. But again, blind run, you can always miss stuff. And, you know, um, as, as thorough as you try to be, there's always going to be things that you overlook and that you probably pass by uh, without looking. So what we're going to do before heading back to the, the demon, what was it? Demon of hate? Demon of hatred, I think. Um, I'm going to try and get a bit more prepared because one, it has an incredible amount of range and it does a ton of fire damage. And I feel like this one, surely is going to be a good thing to protect against that uh, burn status and uh, prevent the damage. So this is going to be an important tool for me. And so I, I need 1,500 gold for starters just to get that one. Then um, maybe, again, some of these like high level things I think could help me. So we're going to try and get some money. I think that's going to help me uh, get a few more of these upgrades and also try to find this guy 
while generally also trying to head back down the Kuro path to see how far we get. So that's the general idea here. And so I'm not immediately just going to rush back to that boss and die 50 times against it, because I, I think um, there's definitely better things that I could do uh, for now. Now, this guy, I've decided to still leave alone for now. He's just waiting for me to kill him, but I refuse to do it at this point, because I had the, the thought that maybe once we get to the end of the story, he's still somehow freed from his curse without me having to kill him first, and that would be the best ending for him, I assume. So uh, we're going we're gonna to let that go for now, and we'll see what we can do. So I think the one thing I want to do, as much as I kind of hate to do it, I want to head back here one more time. And another thing we will do also is head back to the Fountainhead Palace and make a choice about which bait to give uh, the Great Carp. I do have some theories and thoughts about that as well, which I will share with you guys once I get there. So as always, there's a lot to do and I'm excited to continue. So let's get back into it and see what we can find. Now, I still feel like this is the one place that there's just a lot going on here. Like from here, you can already see there's the there's the water, which I feel I've explored fully, and there's these like each bit is like its own self-contained compartment full, full of stuff, and then you have the upper estate part, and there's just a lot of things. We had the pagoda that had a um, a prosthetic tool, and my thinking is that it's. Due to its position, like it's the second one down from there, I have a feeling that it's more likely to be found kind of earlier game. And so I think that's what... This is still earlier game at this stage. So that's what I'm going to have a look at. Yeah, okay. Also, what I did here is that... Um, also, the what I was told is that there is an NPC that does give you a hint about... Um, about the prosthetic tool. So I'm going to try to make an effort to eavesdrop again. Not like that. Uh, to eavesdrop again. And see if I can hear some clues about where this might be. So the money acquisition is going to be slow for now, but when I do actually need it, uh, it seems like I can get it relatively fast. So I think at this stage, stealth is over. Forget this. These guys do not scale up. The only time I will try to stealth is if there's obviously a um, eavesdropping opportunity. Yeah, with the attack power that I have, this is all just uh, obviously easy stuff. But it's going to help me sort of gather resources again in an organic way. So I'm not really farming for anything specifically. I'm just going to try and run around and see um, what I can do. So there were some eavesdropping opportunities here that I remember. That was not a very good eavesdrop. We'll go back to those guys. At this stage, there will be more editing, especially when I'm going through these easier areas. I'm just looking for stuff. I'm definitely going to be more likely to just edit out, like, say, if I spend five minutes just not really finding much of anything. We will do that. So I'm not here to, to literally kill every single person. But I am here to eavesdrop if I can. Okay, so that's one eavesdrop that is not helpful. Okay, so... This place basically has like three prosthetic tools in there, and this guy dies after that. I don't know if he revives every time you come here, because I'm sure I speak, I've speak. i spoken to him before. But it was so early in the game that I guess I completely forgot. And so he says, take the, the axe from the temple. 
Now, I'm just thinking, where is the temple? Because it's like a Hir this is the Hirata estate. But what's the temple? So that's the NPC that I was looking for. It wasn't an eavesdrop one. But the only temple I know is like Senpu Temple, but he would only be telling me about something that's here, I assume. Right? Alright, buddies. Okay. Wait, is this the... Is that the temple? That's... I think I found it. Wow. All along I'd assumed that this area leads there. Wow. That's insane. These guys are hardcore though. Always with the spears, man. We have enough experience at this stage to deal with couple of spears. Wow. Okay. I mean, if I see some monk-looking guys, I would have assumed that this is where it was, but I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, I always assume this part just goes back down and connects up to the same place, but it doesn't do that either. Where the hell is the temple and the axe? Okay, so I've explored as much as I can. I thought when I found the monks, maybe that was going to lead me to some kind of temple thing, but it wasn't, and so I looked for something called literally temple, and I have to assume it's in here somewhere. It was hidden in plain sight. I didn't spend too much time here after I did what I needed to do, but it is called hidden temple, so maybe this isn't the one. Ugh, why is it so difficult? It's either going to be somewhere where I'm like, yeah, okay, I don't feel so bad about not having it or struggling to find it, or it's going to be, oh, for God's sake, like that was dumb. At this stage, I have no idea. We're in here at the state. Guy mentions temple, and we came into a temple area, but still didn't find it. Like, there's not that many more places left to look. I think this is probably the first time I'm going to bite the bullet and just properly look something up because it just seems a bit silly, like how hard can it be to find? And if I've made like a really stupid mistake where there's, let's say, something where I've, in my head, I'm like, there's no way it's in there, like some kind of door that I assume is locked that's been open all along, shit like that, then I'll never find it, basically. So I'm not sure it's the best call. I think this would be the final area that I look, because at this stage I feel like I would have explored basically everywhere in Hirata Estate. And so it's likely to be somewhere I've already bypassed multiple times, probably. I think I'm going to admit defeat on this one, because I don't want to waste too much of my time. It's going to get a bit boring to, to keep navigating these places, because I've been around many a time now, and I've found nothing. So I think I've got close with the whole temple thing, like how many other temples could they even be here? So, yeah. In my head, when someone says to me temple, I'm assuming something a bit more kind of temple-y than this. Apparently, this is how you get it. So this is the first thing I've looked up in the playthrough, but I didn't want to start frustrating myself. I've probably been just wandering around doing stuff for an hour. <laughs> I've been finding like random stuff here and there, but no sign of the axe. Um, I went to the hidden temple location, none of that stuff. Turns out this little building is what they were referring to. So yeah, it, I probably could have been here another two hours and I wouldn't have figured that out. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's get it. Yeah, temple, like for me, this is just a shrine. If, if he had said shrine, I would have looked in a different kind of place, but... 
in general, the game's not been too annoying with that stuff, so I'm willing to, to give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say it was me not paying attention to the subtle clues enough or just making assumptions when I shouldn't have and blah, blah. So if it was a common problem, I'd say, yeah, the game's just been like quite badly designed on that front, but I, f I feel like it's probably one of the only ones where this has happened, so I'm going to give it a pass. Destroys wooden shields. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, we've got the money to do it. Why not? Just unlock some more stuff along the way. Then we unlock this guy. Okay. So in general, again, we've got the resources for almost everything. Malcontent. What is that? Malcontent ring. Interesting. We'll try. So, I am going to head back to, I think, the Hidden Palace next. And check out this carp situation and just make a decision once and for all. <laughs>